Sea monsters and lake monsters have captivated the human imagination for millennia. Everyone watching this has probably heard of the famous Loch Ness Monster, said to live in a lake in Scotland, and everyone has probably heard of the Leviathan, a sea serpent which appears in the Bible, and which has connections to an older Canaanite monster, Lotan. The waters surrounding Constantinople in the middle of the 6th century were home to such a monster, one that we actually know existed. Its name was Porphyrios. Theodora, empress of the Roman Empire at this time and wife of the Emperor Justinian, did not care for Constantinople, much preferring the nearby town of Huron, where a small palace was located. Getting there, however, was treacherous because it meant sailing along the Bosporus Strait and attracting the attention of Porphyrios. So what was this beast? Well, the vast majority of our information comes from the writings of Procopius, both his history of the wars and the secret history, who informs us that this was a whale which, for whatever reason, swam into the Mediterranean from the Atlantic and then made its home in the Black Sea and the Bosporus for about 50 years. It's estimated to have been approximately 45 feet long and 15 feet wide, or about 14 meters long and 4.5 meters wide, and it is not entirely certain where the name of the whale came from. There is one idea which suggests that it was named after a famous charioteer who was active in the Hippodrome at this time, but the majority of historians support a different line of thought which argues that the name comes from the color of the whale, as well as the apparent headache that the beast caused for the Emperor Justinian, because it attacked ships indiscriminately, both military and civilian. Indeed, we might best understand Porphyrios as meaning something like Purple Boy, which, if nothing else, shows that humans have been giving nicknames to animals for a very long time, even violent ones. And, apparently, much like the modern-day activity of whale-watching, locals occasionally attempted to go and see it, except in these particular instances, there was every chance that the whale attacked the ship. There are two ideas for exactly what kind of animal Porphyrios was. In this video, I have been saying that it was a whale, because identifying Porphyrios as a sperm whale, due to the apparent size and temperament of the creature makes the most sense, as well as the color of its skin. It would be possible to misidentify shades of grey as shades of purple, especially in the water, but you should be aware that there was another argument which says that Porphyrios was actually an orca of unusual size. After 50 years of terrorizing Roman ships in the waters of Constantinople, however, Porphyrios was finally beached when it decided to chase dolphins a bit too close to shore. Struggling to free itself only trapped the whale deeper in the sand and the mud of the coastline, and when it was discovered, locals came with knives, cleavers, rope, and axes to kill the beast that had wreaked havoc for so long. Finding that their blades did little damage and only enraged the whale, the people returned with horses and wagons and pulled the Porphyrios deeper inland and cut the beast into pieces. Some of them apparently devoured the whale flesh immediately, while others saved the pieces for later. And with that, so ended the reign of terror of Porphyrios, Tyrant of the Bosporus, and the shipping lanes were now safe once more.